Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the New York Yankees and the Texas Rangers. First pitch. Just about to get started and getting to start. Nathan Evaldi. What do we have on him? Well, Boog, he's the type of guy that you can bet on to give you quality innings most of the time he goes out there. The guy knows how to pitch. He's got good stuff. Sometimes it can be even plus stuff. First time through the order, though, I think that's going to tell us a lot about how he's feeling today and how he's going to settle into this ball game and attacking hitters. One cool nugget on Evaldi comes from the same hometown as Nolan Ryan. Both guys from Alvin, Texas. They actually attended the same high school they didn't meet until 2016. Evaldi pitching for the Yankees, visited the Astros, and that's when he got a chance to meet the Ryan Express. Next pitch is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. I love to see guys compete and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Judge rips that one. That's down. One hops off the wall. The relay in there safely. Now I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. One down. And now here is Glaber Torres. Oh, Off the mark there. And now three and one. Cut that out and missed cool. 96 with that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed there. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. The pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at-bat alive. And swinging for the K. Had him out front for strike three. No runs, a hit, two left. And now the Rangers will get their. Welcome back. And today's starting pitcher, Garrett Cole. Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. And here's Corey Seager to hit. And a 2-1 on the way. And a swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next offering misses, three and two now. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little ball bit. Four. And that's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that wall. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Seeger at first, one gone. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, 
And he hit him. Well, he's just glad they got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. Sneaks through, base hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Now, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Down the line towards the corner. Judge makes the play. Runner tagging from third. He scores! That's a big sacrifice fly, and it's 1-0. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. The pitch. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners. Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We head to the and welcome back. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Anthony Volpe. Chris, you know, you look at Nathan Evaldi's resume. He won the World Series with the Red Sox in 2018, but he was actually originally drafted by the Dodgers back in 2008. He was an 11th round pick. The other way, and that one gets down. Fair ball. Off to a good start with a leadoff nine. That is the left field. Everson Pereira stepping in now for the Yankees. Right-hander kicks, deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Always known for that power fastball, but interesting, he didn't get a whole lot of swing and miss with it early on. He got better with that stuff as his career progressed. And you talk about that World Series in 2018, he was absolutely fantastic out of the bullpen. Esteban Florial waiting to hit for the Yankees. And the righty deals. Swings, and he breaks his bat. Makes the grab one away. And now it's Esteban Florio. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Left hand hitter waits. Yeah. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. The next pitch misses, and a full count now. So here we go. Base runner at first, could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. And here is Oswald Peraza. Pitch misses. And now three balls and a strike. And here it comes. And there's the strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Bird. Runners at first and second with one gone. Broken bat, and it's popped up. And that's a foul that's ball. Foul. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece, and stays alive. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Volpe at second. Florial at first. One gone. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. With that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. And a pitch. And that'll load the bases. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. 
And now pick number 99, Aaron Judge, doubled his first time up. Now he breaks as bad as it's put in play. Over to low. Judge out on the play. Third out. Back here at the ballpark. And now Jonah Heim. The catcher. The pitch. And now it's even up. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And quickly won away in the second. Here's Leody Tavares. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a base hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Cole, keeping him close. Runner, runner, he's going. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second and great jump. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets into scoring position. In the air, out to center. Florial coming on. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Went down on strikes his first time through. He's someone that you might not describe as having an elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Rangers leave one. They lead. Welcome back. Leading off, Glaber Torres. Labor. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. This to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. The one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. pitch swing and a miss struck him out John Carlos stand to the plate now oh for one he struck out swinging last time there's a 1-1 they say it went one and two That misses the zone. Two and two. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Carter has a beat on it. And puts the squeeze on that. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That one off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. to kick the pitch and a foul ball he stays alive cut on and miss struck him out and good work there as he gets a one two three held in check they still trail one nothing and welcome we back we ready to go, go for the last half of the inning and now the shortstop Corey Seager 
Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Well, these Rangers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Tosses to first, and Seager is set down. Nathaniel low up to hit. Hit by a pitch his first time up. One down, base is empty. Swung on, belted. Pereira going back, back some more. Looking up, pulls it in on the warning track. <laughs> Mitch Garver up to hit here. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Check swing, but he went too far. Now one and two. Stays alive. Two outs. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty delivers. Bows it back with two strikes. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. That's going back. Back some more. On the warning track. And hauls it in. Nothing doing for the Rangers. Back here at the ballpark. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth. Anthony Volpe. The 1-1. And another ball. You know, these Yankees doing a great one. job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. And the 2-2. And now the count filled up three and two. Hard ground ball, base knock. Everything came together for him. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And yeah, the batter now, Everson Pereira. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Two and two. Rudder at first with no outs here. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Right the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure them out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. That's inside, and yeah, that's ball two. Great take right there. Showed some really good discipline. Breaking ball coming in, you see it well, but don't trust that it's going to hang on for a strike. Nice job. Diavaldi checks the runner, and he's back in there. And the pitch. Runner on the go. And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. Here comes a pitch. And now it's filled up. Oswald Peraza on deck for the Yankees. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so... They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. The pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Tavares settles under it. And that's the third out. One left for the Yankees. Bottom four. Here's Josh Young. Here's a 1-1. One -one. 
Fought off foul. The one two. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The line of the pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Up next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That misses. Two and one. Two and one. And a swing and a miss there. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Judge ranging back. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And into second with one away. That's a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So next to hit for Texas, Jonah Heim. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Oh. That's off the mark. Two, Two balls, balls and a strike. strike. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That's back there. And it hits the base of the wall. Ball back in quickly. Runner holds it third. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. And there's ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. One out, base is loaded. Evan Carter getting ready to hit. Going to count one and two. One and two, count. Base is loaded, one away. Caught him looking for the K. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling. You think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. The next offering misses. And a count two and one. And he deals. And a big swing and a miss. Two and two. Bases loaded, two down. And a base hit on the line. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. And they lead by three. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Seeger stands in now. Next offering is foul back. First and second, two down. Set down on strikes. Big time third strike to end the end. New inning getting started. Here's DJ LeMayhew. Leading off the game. The first base. The 2 1. That one missed. Activity in the bullpen. Chris Stratton up and throwing. Burke, the lefty, warming up as well. Kicks and fires. And he pumps it a strike. Full count. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it goes just foul. 
Nobody out. Runner at first. That misses the zone. And the count is two and two. Good eye right there. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Kicks and deals. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Gassed it right by him. New pitcher on now, Martin Perez. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. The pitch. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Off the mark there. Three balls and a strike. And the pitch. Three. Got him. And there are two outs. No, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. And the pitch. On the ground, right side. Slings to first, and that is that. Yanks strand a pair. They trail it here. Three. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. That misses that the miss, zone. The ball. Two balls, two strikes. Action in the pen down there. A right-hander appears to be getting loose. Struck him out looking. Well, you could tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back in on him. He may have been looking for something away, maybe something soft, but that slider on the inside corner absolutely froze him. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Got it by him for the K. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And that's a base hit. And now a two-out opportunity for Adolis Garcia. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but... He did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Yeah, now two that balls and a strike. 2-1. Started to go at the 2-1. Appeal down to first. No swing. Kenny Jansen with the call. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, interesting. He went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. Bounce to the right, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Next offering misses. It's two and two. Just missed. Leody Tavares in the on deck circle. Well struck left field. That's back there. 
And that one is out of here. That'll fire up the dugout, and they add to the lead. It's 6-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. for the Yankees, number 63. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some number work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Two down, nobody on. That's off the mark, and the count is even two and two. Popped up. And it falls. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. Two but two. there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Now snap throw to first. No. Back standing. He's in there safely. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. Three run shot for Texas this inning. It's now a six nothing ball game. Welcome back. All right we go to the top half of inning number six and stepping in for the Yankees Anthony Volpe next offering is down low and that's awfully close I don't know how you take that he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now swing and a miss pulled the string on the changeup so up next Everson oh, Pereira okay, okay. The left fielder, Everson Pereira. That catches the zone for a strike, and yeah, the count one and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. Now, Esteban Florial. He's 0 for 1. That's inside. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to third, and he held back, according to Rusty Valentine. Fouls one away, and now three and two. That one is absolutely belted. And God! He powers one out to right field, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 6-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. And now it's going to be Oswald Peraza. And here it comes. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. And welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. Here's Marcus Simi. The pitch. And now one and two. Well, these Rangers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Torres over to first, one up, one down. So now it's Corey Seager. Seager. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Now two balls and a strike.
Swing and a miss. And out two and two. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. He makes the grab. Out number two. Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers. The 1-1. One -one. Rip to short. Volpe throws to first in time. Rangers go down in order. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Back here at the ballpark. And now the first baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Ball to strike. Good eye right oh. there. Two balls, one strike. Two, two down. Fights it off, he'll see another. The 2 2. Up the middle, and that chance handled. Tosses to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Here comes Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Up the middle, Simeon. Tosses to first, and two away to start the seven. Now back, back. second base, Glaber Torres. Here's Glaber Torres. The two one. And now two and two. two, two. That one down the line foul and foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Down. Bottom of the seventh. Now at the plate, Mitch Garver. The 1 1. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. The pitch in the dirt and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh the third baseman. here's the third baseman Josh Young good swing out of him last time ripped a liner in the center clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back and a pitch and down on strikes. And now two gone. No, oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Next pitch Ball. misses. Ball two. Garcia tries to hold up. Appeal to first. Did not go. At the belt and fires. Good job to fight that one off. Three balls, two strikes to count. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Showed a lot of fight oh, with two strikes in that A.B. Just, Just kept, kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took oh. it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. This to center field. Florial under this one. Squeezes it. And that'll do it. One left for Texas. They lead. We go to the eighth. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Here's a 1-1. In the air, right field. Garcia really on his horse for this one. Dives for it. Got it. Makes the play. Hitter's got a broken heart on that one. It had base hit written all over it. Maybe extra bases. Great diving catch for the upset. And up next for New York, Austin Wells. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. And a 
And there's a ball. Next pitch inside. Three and two now. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground to short. Seeger on the run. Throw to first. Gets the catcher by a step. Up next for the Yankees. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. And now the lefty. Smash to the left side. Sends it across the first. And that is the third out of the inning. New pitcher for the Yankees, Kanan Middleton. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Falling behind two ball. and one. Two and one. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's the strike. Wings and misses struck him out. You know, the danger with the slider is leaving it out over the heart of the plate and getting contact on it. If you're going to miss, you want to miss towards the corners, not in the middle. Right there, he does a great job with hard break at the end. He ran it inside. Very difficult to do anything when you're tied up like that as a hitter. Bullpen activity starting up now. Number 50, getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. the two one and a change up clips the zone for a strike no need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes it's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch right hander kicks deals ripped on a line hauls it in for the out and now it's the Rangers leadoff hitter Marcus Simeon Next pitch way upstairs. And that's outside. Corey Seager in the on deck circle for Texas. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So, if all down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Diving try, but it falls in base hit. Throw cut off to second, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Matt Bush. Here's the left fielder. Everson Pereira. Two and two. Good eye in that spot. Full count. And here's a three-two. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Righty delivers. And it's even up. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Chris Stratton, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Struck him out swinging. 
Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Oswald Peraza stepping in now for the Yankees. The 2 2 on the way. Down to And that one finds its way through. So now back to the top of the order. So the batting order turns over. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. The count two and one. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Is just one strike away. Bounce to the left side, and it stays fair. Now bat the right field. First and second, two down. Aaron Judge stepping in now for the Yankees. The one-one is fouled off. Down to their final strike. Two and two. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Pulls it in, and that's the ball game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. The final line for our ball game.